Now for more on this topic, let's bring in our guest, Julie Anderson. She's the Executive Director at the Plastic Oceans Foundation. Welcome to the show, Julie. Nice. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Now, we've seen just a fraction of some of the environmental damage that plastic waste is causing. So economically speaking, how much of a problem is this? Plastic is a, it's really a cause of our consuming behavior. And we, we have a disposable lifestyle. We consume tons and tons, 300 million tons of plastic a year. And this affects all in just many sectors and primarily tourism, we have waste management systems that need to be improved. We have the health impact is the biggest one, is how microplastics are really affecting human health as well as the environment because it is getting into the food chain. Now, in an effort to combat some of this, we're seeing that some governments, including the US, have put a tax on plastic bags. But there's also been a lot of pushback. So how effective is this strategy when it comes to trying to curb waste? The tax hasn't been that effective in curbing the waste, but it does raise the awareness. And that at Plastic Oceans Foundation, the one of the biggest things that we do is raise, the, we want to raise awareness of plastics. And as soon as you put a tax on it, it does make a consumer stop and think about what they're buying. And that's really what we want to do, is we want to raise the awareness globally. And that's the main thing about a tax that is good for it. So in terms of turning some of that awareness into action, what's a better way to curb waste before or perhaps even at the point of purchase? The, the best way to is, at the, from the point of purchase, is basically to refuse it, is what we're hoping. We want to stop putting plastic into the ocean. So we need to stop, ref, refuse plastics. And that's why we want to raise awareness for the consumer to st what the benefits, the health impact is on their health, and therefore they can stop using it. And the next level is the corporations. How can we incentivize corporations to see plastic as not a waste product, something that is just to be thrown away, but this is a, a, an opportunity to, for investment, to rethink the type of materials they can use and actually reduce the amount of money that they are putting into plastic packaging. And speaking of investing in this, you mentioned some of the big companies. So what are they doing in terms of trying to tackle this? Because this is a very expensive problem. What sort of motion are we seeing from some of the big companies like, like your Unilever Levers or your Procter & Gamble's? We're seeing a lot of um, these corporations looking for ways to use recycled plastic, but that is still keeping plastic in the system. Um, what we want to do is we want to stop the use of plastic so that it doesn't continue to go into the oceans. And so what we really want to do is we want to educate them, to try to incentivize them to understand the different ways that people are coming up with new packaging products that are not plastic. Now, give us an idea of where we are in terms of the amount of waste that's currently being recycled versus the real goals that we're trying to reach. What are some really realistic ways to get there? Uh, the re realistic ways that we have been seeing um, with our film, A Plastic Ocean, is that we have been following the problem around the world and seeing what people are doing um, in order to curb this within their communities. And what we've realized is that they don't know the severity of the problem. So it is realistic to educate on a local level and get people incentivized to then start changing their behaviors and then using that their buying power to then change and incentivize corporations to change their practices. And then the other thing is we've been using uh, the film also to go to the, po the policy level and policy people who then can put the burden, uh, the tax burden and the incentives on the corporations to be responsible from for the product from the packaging stage, the collecting stage, and then the recycling stage. Now, the companies that produce a lot of these plastics aren't always the ones who end up really bearing the brunt of it. So in terms of the, the global effort to really curb this, what are we seeing? Because some countries, when it comes to things like water currents, really don't have a choice in where these things are ending up. What sort of efforts would you like to see? I, I would like, uh, again, I would like the efforts to be on raising awareness. and. Bringing this, we need to have more education. And one of these things that we're doing at Plastic Oceans Foundation is raising that awareness, raising funds to get the distribution of the information out there. And the best tool right now is film and TV and really educating on a local level so that they know what to do with plastic, they understand the health impact of plastics, and then they can continue to push to clean up their communities. It's certainly a wake-up call. Thank you so much for joining us, Julie Thank Anderson you. from the Plastic Oceans Foundation. Mm -hmm.